okay so today we will start a new technique uh, we will discuss about a new technique of parsing and that is called as bottom of parsing okay now as we have studied in top down parsing what we start with the starting non terminal of a given grammar and we create the parse tree or the abstract syntax tree in a top down fashion okay in this way but unlike this in the uh, just uh, opposite that in bottom of parsing we start with the input string we create nodes for each of these input terminals okay on which are leaf nodes and then gradually move upward one level up okay to create the intermediate non terminals and then we uh, finally we create the starting non terminal symbol okay so in this way the the tree creation in bottom of parsing is from leaf node to the root node this bottom of parsing is also so i can say that in bottom of parsing as the name suggests the abstract syntax tree is created in a bottom of fashion okay and it is also called as lr parser lr parser in the sense i am reading the input string l stands for i am reading the input string from left to right and r means i am applying rightmost revision okay so bottom of parsers are also called as lr parsers now let us try to see what are the advantages of a bottom of parser over top down parsing okay so we can uh, so while discussing about the top down parsing we have seen that we have to do a lot of transformations in the grammar to take care of first precedence then associativity then left recursion and then left factoring so all these things we have to do for to make a given grammar uh, uh, parsed by a uh, llk parser okay so so top down parsing involves a lot of transformations whereas bottom up parsing doesn't need all those things it can directly uh, create the abstract syntax tree without doing any such transformations okay so i can say that in bottom of parsing so let me write it down in bottom of parsing we don't need bottom of parse so uh, let me write it down so bottom of parsing involves less transformations and rewriting to the existing grammar okay second is that bottom up parsers accepts a wide class of language so so the class of language that a grammar that is accepted by a top down parser is called as llk grammar and but uh, bottom up parser covers more class of languages okay so it can create a parse tree for uh, more number of languages okay compared to a top down parser so 
bottom of parser accepts a wider class of grammars languages okay so these are the two advantages of uh, using a bottom of parser over a top down parser okay now let us see a small example that tells me how we create how we perform bottom of parsing okay now suppose suppose i have an input string so suppose my grammar is something like this e is t plus e or t okay uh, on the terminal uh, non terminal t can be int where int is a terminal into t or int or it can be itself okay now using these two grammars let us try to derive the input string int into int plus int okay so in top down parsing what we do we start with the starting non terminal e then try to and finally we reach at the input string int into int plus int but in a bottom of parsing we start with the input string okay so we start with the input string and try to see any substring of this input string whether it is matching the rhs of any production or not okay for example here t is equal to int so i can apply so suppose i can i apply the production t to int so here is my production rules so first i apply t as int to the this to this token then what it will be so it will be int into t plus int understood then i apply the production t is equal to int into t to this substring okay to this substring and hence the the resulting production becomes t plus int understood now again i apply int to uh, t is equal to int so i replace the left hand side of the production to this uh, uh, substring so it becomes t plus t okay now i apply e as t okay here to this non terminal then it becomes t plus e then i finally apply e as t plus e so i replace t plus e by e so in bottom of parsing we are starting with the input string and reaching at the starting non terminal e understood in top down parser we start with the starting non terminal e and create the input string okay so this is the main difference okay now let us see how the parse tree is created so the parse tree is similar so so i first create the leaf nodes okay so int is a terminal so it will be a leaf node then into is another terminal it is another leaf node then again int so it will be a leaf node then plus is a terminal so it is a leaf node and int is another leaf node from there then i substitute t, t as int to this thing so so i create the intermediate node t understood then what i did i apply t as int into t so this thing then gets converted to 
t into int okay int into sorry 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 so int into t so int into t is something like this int then into and then this t and it will become another t okay then then we apply it again t as int to this terminal so it becomes t okay then this will become e as t so it will become e okay and then this t this plus and this e will become e so the creation of the parse tree is from leaf nodes to the root node that is why it is called as bottom of parsing okay okay so now let us see a small algorithm so i have already told you how we how the bottom of parser actually create the abstract syntax tree so can you just tell me the means high level algorithm we use so if i want to write the high level algorithm then it will be like this way so so algorithm for a bottom of parser so what it will be so let i be the input string okay then i'll do i'll pick a non empty string suppose i name it as beta of phi such that there exist a production of the form x is equal to beta in the grammar so what i am saying i am i am taking a substring beta in the given input string i and i'm checking whether there exist a production x as beta in the grammar okay then i am replacing the beta by x in i okay and i am repeating it till while i is reduced to the starting non terminal s okay so this is the main algorithm we use for doing a bottom up parsing understood